hello youtube it's me arjun today i'm gonna show you how to use call span and row span in table before that i would request you to subscribe my channel that encourages me to create more video on coming future well if you are using table in html to present your content on the web page then this video will help you to guide professional use of call span and row span if you need to merge cell in table then the proper use of call span and row span attributes are really helpful for web designer and developer we are going to discuss on those things in this tutorial so I hope this video will give you the idea about the call span and row span in this uh, tutorial we are going to create the table in HTML with the help of HTML table tag and with the help of call span and row span attribute we are going to merge we are going to create the table with a three column and four row the top row we are going to merge like this let me give the name as a then after we are going to merge this two cell together that is b this one c and this one will be d e and this one f and the bottom row we are going to merge and i'll show you how to create all those things in web page designing with the help of table tag let me open this file I have already saved this file on the desktop let me open this in the text editor and let me open this one in the web browser as well we don't have anything yet and let me open the browser side by side okay let's start with the basic HTML tag call span and row span tutorial tutorial we're going to start with the table tag table and uh, apply the border that is one and the height let's just height let's say 500 a height that is 500 and the width that is uh, also 500 for this tutorial and let let talk about the table in Microsoft Word we have one two three four four row and three column to create the row we have to use tr tag in html we have four row that's why i'm going to create four tr tag one by one tr close and again tr close we have four table row and if we move to the first row we the first row that is merge and the content is a here three cell of the column are merged together that's why we need to apply the cool span in the td tag td and their cool span that is three here and the name is a save let me refresh we got the a only 
and the next one that is this one the bottom one we have one two three but the first where then contained is B that sale is made with the that sale is made up up with the merging of two cell with the merge of two cell so we need to apply the row span here it means two row are merged together here that's why we need to apply row span td td tag and here row span that is how many two row are merged together to create this cell b where the content is b b and we have another cell as well td that is c and the same way we have td that is d save and refresh the, in the web browser now we got b c d b c d and on the third row the content uh, the cell where the contain is b it is already merged with two cells so on the third row we don't have three cell here only two cell that's why we need to apply accordingly in this row that is td that the contain is e and td where the contain is f and save refresh the browser we got like this but something is different it means something must be different here so we need to merge there something where we are going to create the tr the last td where the cool span is three like the top one g and refresh row span we have to apply we forget to apply the two row span here let me apply two and refresh two and the this one here or oh, not the care attribute cool span attribute that is three here on the bottom cell bottom row look at here one two three three cell are merged together that's why cool span and let me save and refresh the browser we got exact the same table that we had created on the word document here is the f and this one is g a b c d e f g same as here g This is the table which we are going to use on the future tutorial with the help of other attribute for more, more professional designing. So hope this video is useful for you to specify the number of row and row or column as um, a sales should uh, span. It means uh, if you have any any cell that uh, you need to merge together you can use cool span or row span accordingly um, so hope this video is very useful for you if you have any question then leave the comment on the comment box below i will more than happy to reply as soon as possible and don't forget to subscribe then hit the like and bell icon thank you